everyone, welcome back to Two Sweet MTG and welcome to another Commander Deck Tech. In today's video we're going to be looking at Karumonix the Rat King. It is one black black for a 3-3 legendary creature Phyrexian Rat. It has Toxic 1, which means players dealt combat damage by this creature also get a poison counter, as well as giving all of our other rats that we control Toxic 1 as well. As well as having where Karamonix enters the battlefield, look at the top 5 cards of your library. You may reveal any number of rat cards from among them and put the revealed cards into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. So, this is going to be a rat tribal deck with an aristocrat sub-theme. Karamonix really rewards us for jamming the deck full of rats. Giving them all Toxic 1 means that only 10 of them ever need to get through over the course of a game to take a player out. That's a lot less than dealing 40 damage and is a really solid win condition. It also comes with card advantage, and that is basically drawing us cards when it comes into play. This is where the Aristocrat package will come in. We're running some sacrifice outlets and some undying effects that we can sack Karamonix for value just to quickly get it back to draw us even more cards. The other great thing about having an Aristocrat package is that it's a backup win condition. This is in case our opponents ever generate a board state that we're not able to swing through. We can just start sacking our rats and pinging out our opponents. Another thing that rats are really good at is being well ninja, so we'll be running some of these as well so we can return Karamanix to our hand to recast it again to get even more value off of it. One quick note about this video is that we will be going through all the individual sections that you need to make the deck yourself. We won't be giving a full deck list, rather a number of cards that you need in each section to make it work, and then a list of cards for you to pick from. Any card we mention will be down in the description below. First thing to go over is our Rat Tribal section. This will be a very decent chunk of the deck, as the more rats we have, the easier it'll be to kill our opponents with Toxic. First up, it's probably worth mentioning Rat Colony. Unlike most cards in Commander, you can run as many of these as you want. What's great about them is that their power also gets buffed up from all the other rats that we'll be running as well, meaning they could get pretty scarily big. They're really great at filling up any gaps in the deck until some more powerful rats get printed. If you do go down the Rat Colony route, you can also run a card like Thrumming Stone. It's super powerful in any deck running loads of the same copies of a card. I have played this and then dumped 36 Persistent Petitioners onto the battlefield before. In this build, I don't think you need anywhere near that as many copies of Rat Colony, but if you want to run Thrumming Stone, I potentially look at running between 18 and 24 copies. Next up we have Marrow Nora. Firstly great by making our rats harder to block by giving them all fear, meaning our toxic board is more likely to get its poison damage through. But then on top of that it also doubles the amount of rats that we have in play every single turn. It really does grow the swarm nicely. We then have Piper of the Swarm, which gives all of our team menace, again making them harder to block, but then it has two very cool abilities as well. Making more rats will always be solid, but being able to cash three of them in to gain control of the best creature on the board will be insanely good. Next we have Ogre Slumlord, a great creature that gives all of our rats death touch and again makes them super annoying to block. It then will also replace all of our non-token rats whenever they get killed, which is fantastic for keeping the damage train rolling. Next we have Swarm of Rats and Pack Rat. These will get absolutely huge with our Rat Horde, and Pack Rat continually turning the worst card in our hand into another copy of itself will be fantastic. Moving on, one other thing that rats are oddly good at is controlling the amount of cards in our opponent's hands. The ones I really like in this deck are Nat Miser and Locust Miser, as they just continually reduce the amount of resources our opponents will have available to stop us. To go along with every other great rat that we're running, we have Rat Catcher. This lets us repeatedly chew to the best rat that we need for that exact turn. You could be getting something like Ashcoat of the Shadow Swarm, a fantastic rat that when it attacks or blocks, buffs up a whole team equal to the number of rats that we control. For some slightly cheaper options that do a similar effect, you have cards like Coat of Arms, Eldrazi Monument, Vanquish's Banner and Obelisk of Erd. Fantastic at turning our scary board of rats into a lethal swarm that can roll over a whole table. Next up we have our Aristocrat package. This is only going to be a small grouping of cards, but the effect it will have on the deck will be really strong. First up we have Ayara, First of Lochthwain. This drains out each opponent whenever one of our black rat creatures comes into play, while also letting us sacrifice a rat if we ever need some bonus card advantage. Then we have some Blood Artist effects. These drain out our opponents whenever one of our creatures dies. This means that if we ever can't swing our board through, we can just wrath the board or sacrifice them to take out our opponents that way. Talking of sacrificing, first we have Nozomi Bone Reader. While we do have to pay a black mana to do it, which is not normally what we want from a sacrifice outlet, it being a rat is really nice, and its ability to strip an opponent's hand could just be so oppressive it has to be worth considering. For a proper free sack outlet you have Ashnod's Altar, fantastic at making us a bucket load of mana for when we need to cast something big. To go hand in hand with those sack outlets we have cards like Haunted One. Firstly this just buffs up our whole board when we attack, which obviously we love, but then more importantly it gives all of our rats undying. This means that we could sacrifice them and then they'll come back into play even bigger. This is important as remember our commander draws us cards when it comes into play, so with this out we can sacrifice it to get its end to the battlefield trigger all over again. We then have some one time versions of that effect, with Malakir Rebirth, Undying Evil and Undying Malice. 
What's nice about these is that they also double up as protection in the deck. Although our commander does draw us more rats, we still need some more card draw just to make sure everything is actually taking over. While not a rat, we certainly will be choosing rat with Species Specialist. With this, we'll draw a card whenever one of our rat dies, either from combat, board wipes, or sacrificing them. Another card that ties into that is Chittering Skittling. This lets us sacrifice an artifact or a creature once a turn to draw a card. It does need an opponent to have three or more poison counters on them, but let's be honest, all our rats will have Toxic so that will not be hard. For some more rat based card advantage we have Wave of Rats, which with its blitz ability can be drawing us cards again and again, and then Nashi Moon Sage Scion, which if it connects lets us pay the best card from the top of any player's library, without even having to pay mana for them. Then next up we have Gix Yorgmoth Praetor, which draws us cards whenever one of our rat friends deals combat damage to a player. For some more consistent and repeatable bits of card draw, you have things like Vampiric Rites, and for Exion Arena, great for just keeping the deck ticking over. For some faster paced card draw, we have Skull Clamp, great in any deck with a load of 1 toughness creatures. And then, because we're a mono black deck, and let's be honest why not, let's live the dream and run both to Citadel. Pay all your life, make a stupidly large board state, get greedy, it is Commander. Next up we have our ramp section, and like with most decks we're going to be looking to run between 8-10 to 10 bits here. First up we have Dark Ritual. Now I'm not normally a fan of one time bits of ramping commander, but when the commander of the deck only costs 3, playing it on turn 1 with this will be really strong. Then late game it's just a free reduction in command attacks, which is still really nice. We then have cards like Bontu's Monument and Herald's Horn. They do slightly different things, but the end result is that our rats cost 1 less mana to cast. Both really nice in the deck, the drain from the monument and the card advantage from the horn are both fantastic upside. Then we have our mana rocks, important in any deck not running green, and having a couple of these is the foundation that we need. Outside of Soul Ring, we preferably want them to cost 2 or less mana, and we want them to tap for black where possible. Talking of, we then have Crypt Ghast and Cage Sun, which make all of our swamps tap for an extra mana, perfect at giving us the resources we need for that big game winning turn. Next up we have our interaction section. Being mono black, we have plenty of good options for us to go over. First up we have Chittering Witch. This makes us rat tokens when it comes into play, but then lets us sacrifice a creature to shrink down another creature. Then we have Throat Slitter, a great ninja rat that destroys a non-black creature whenever it deals combat damage to a player. And then we have Crypt Rats, a board wipe and even a win condition if we ever have enough black mana to pump into it. For some more synergistic options we have Drown in Ica, a decent removal spell but the added proliferate will be really nice at topping up the poison counters for our opponents. Then for an on theme board wipe we have Kindred Dominance. Yes it is a little pricey at 7 mana, but wiping all of our opponents creatures and keeping our rat board state will still be super strong. And then we can top that all up with some of the best interaction going. Feed the Swarm has the added benefit of taking out enchantments, Infernal Grasp just takes out anything, Damnation is old faithful itself, and then Mutilate is a great budget board wipe in a mono black deck like this. Moving on now to some recursion. I always like running a little bit in a deck, and it's something that black excels at, so we might as well run a few. First we have Patriarch's Bidding. This powerful sorcery will return all the rats from our graveyard to the battlefield, perfect late game after a couple of board wipes to rebuild our horde. Then you have some really solid enchantments with repeatable things like Phyrexian Reclamation and Oversold Cemetery. Then we even have some rats. Graveshifter can return a key creature from our graveyard to our hand, while also being buffed up by our other effects. And then we have Ink Eyes, which while it doesn't get a creature back from our graveyard, can get a creature back from our opponent's graveyard straight into play under our control if it ever gets through for damage. Moving on now to some dedicated win conditions, and we have some really cool ways that we can finish out a game. First up is with some more poison counters. We have Ica Rats and Septic Rats. If these get through with any of the amount of buffs from our other effects, they could take our opponent by themselves by giving them 10 poison counters. Alternatively, you have Veraska Betrayal Sting. The 0 can proliferate everyone's poison counters just a little higher. The minus 2 removes a creature, and the minus 9 puts a player up to 9 poison counters, meaning with our commander out, we only ever have to get through with 1 rat's damage in order to take them out of the game. Next up we have Grey Merchant of Asphodel. When this comes in it'll drain out each opponent for an obscene amount of life if we have any kind of board state, because of all the lovely black pits that will be running in the deck. Then we have Patron of the Nozumi. We can flash this in at instant speed by sacrificing another rat, which also helps reduce its mana cost of 7. When it's in play, an opponent will lose life whenever a permanent goes to their graveyard. Perfect to flash in before a board wipe to deal a chunk of life loss out of nowhere. And then, because I'm a fan of going a bit all in with these kind of decks, we have Plague of Vermin. This lets every player bid any amount of life to make that many rats. Yes this can give everyone a decent board state, but in the rat tribal deck we will come out ahead, as ours will get all manner of buffs and other cool effects. With the aristocrat package we will be gaining life in this deck, so this one card could make us an absolutely obscene board state. Rounding off the deck with some utility lands, and we have a nice little selection that we can go over. First up is Swarmyard, 
a fantastic card in this deck that can regenerate any of our key creatures, which is very solid. Then for some additional card draw we have War Room, which is really good at keeping our hand nice and filled. For some bonus proliferate we have Khan's Bastion, perfect for when some of our opponents already have a bunch of poison counters and we just need to push them over the edge. And then, because we are a mono black deck, you can look at running Cabal Coffers and Urborg Tomb of Yorgmoth to really kick that mana production up a notch. Then for some more lands that generate black mana, Paducah Bog is great at nerfing a graveyard opponent out of the game. You then have Mortu Mire, which is some great free recursion, and Phyrexian Tower is a fantastic way of cashing some cheap rats in for some bonus mana. So with all that said, it just leaves me to thank you all very much for watching. Do let me know down in the comments if there are any other commanders from Phyrexia or would be one you would like me to take a look at. But until next time, please like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.